Ben Moore here from Training with PM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, I'm in Google Classroom and I'm going to show you how to manage your notifications to reduce the amount of emails you get from Google Classroom. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to your hamburger menu in the top left corner of the Google Classroom home screen. You may call it something different, but I call it the hamburger menu. So I'm going to click on there and I'm going to scroll right to the bottom of the screen so I see settings. When I click on settings, you'll see there's a list of different options here and I'm gonna run through what each one is. So the first one you can actually see is notifications email. So you can actually turn this completely off and it turns off all communication from Google Classroom, okay? So you won't receive any emails for any reason from any class, okay? Um, and the great thing about these toggles, they update in live time, you don't need to click save anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's the bliss of Google, everything saves automatically. Um, so you can turn those off in live time uh, and it might be particularly useful for things like school holidays when you're not actually at work. Okay, you can, you've got the option here to turn off uh, comments on your posts, which I personally have. Um, comments that mention you, I've left on and private comments on work, I've also left on. So, you know, it really, it's really personal to you how you want to operate this and you'll find, you know, your sweet tooth once you um, get in and have a look at these settings and turn things on and off uh, and you'll see what works for you best. Um, classes you're enrolled in, so this may be as a student, so it might be, for example, your staff CPD classroom, uh, which is why I've turned all of mine off, uh, but you could keep those on if you wanted to. You might be in a classroom with another teacher, uh, you as a student and them as a teacher, so you can test bits out in classroom before giving it to the students, so it might be good to, um, to turn all those off so you don't get those emails all the time. Classes that you teach, so I've got late submissions of student work um, currently on resubmissions of student work so this is when you give a piece of work back to the student and they hand it back to you once the improvement's been made invitations to co-teach classes can be turned on and off and scheduled uh, posts whether they published or failed i personally have that off and um, so that's all about the class you teach so late submissions is obviously if it's handed in past the deadline and um, invitations to co-teach is uh you know if you're added as a secondary teacher or as a ta or head of subject that sort of thing um i have those on just in case any of my staff need help it's not very often i get those anyway so i, I just tend to leave those on uh, and the scheduled post published or failed uh, if i've published or scheduled a post to be published i always go and check it anyway um, so i turn that off but it is personal preference to you now the next bit down you see class notifications so when i click on this you'll see a list of all my current active google classrooms and what I can do is I can turn off all notifications for all of these things for each individual class. So in particular, if you're added as a co-teacher or a TA or a head of subject, you may not actually teach all of these classes. So I've turned off uh, different classes based on whether I teach them or not or if I need them on. So for example, I can turn this one off because I don't actually teach this class. Um, and turn this one off as well. Just leave notifications on for those classes that I actually do teach and that would need my attention. Okay, so hopefully that will help reduce the number of emails you get from Google Classroom. Um, it's really saved me a lot of time and I've got another video on my channel showing you how to filter those into a specific uh, label in Gmail, so I'll put that in the description below. Uh, but please uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know how you get on with this and if there's anything I can do to better support you. In the meantime, uh, keep being safe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.